and BBC employee in London, Colin Penberthy, settled in Chiang Mai over 20 years ago. He admits that he fell in love with the country and the Thai lady, who is now his wife. Nowadays, Colin is working at the Mesa Elephant Camp. His job is to deal with any sort of English language communications and facilitate foreign journalists. The leader wants to do online interviews or come to the camp. He's also responsible for another important task. I'm, I'm handling the sponsorship adoption programs that we have running, um, whereby um, people can adopt or sponsor any of our elephants. Um, and they, they can pay monthly or they can pay yearly. And uh, we send them a monthly update on that elephant. We send them photographs and videos of that elephant. It's proving to be quite popular now. It's, it, it, it's, it's growing. We've got more people sponsoring the elephants, uh, particularly in the United States, um, as well as uh, other places as well. But the United States is definitely the biggest market for us in that, in that way. With nearly 80 acres at Mesa Elephant Camp, some of the 70 elephants are allowed to roam freely with no chains. It costs approximately 20,000 baht per month to feed one elephant properly as they consume 250 to 300 kilograms of vegetables per day. Therefore, the camp has to spend nearly 1.5 million baht per month to feed all the elephants here, let alone wages for the staff and other expenses. Despite having some of this funded by elephant sponsors and kind-hearted donors, they cover only about 10% of the total cost. And at that time, the, the, running, the total running cost for, for all, everything they have here uh, was somewhere around the figure of about 5 million baht per month. Which, which gives you an idea of how many tourists were coming in, you know, to, to actually get 5 million baht each month. Right now, we've reached a, 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 I'd say, we are in a crisis situation now. Um, when, when we first had to shut down with COVID last year, uh, March the 23rd, it was when the government shut down. Um, we were okay, we, the, 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 the camp was okay. It had sufficient funds in the bank to, to last about, I don't know, four or five months maybe. Um, and because at that time, nobody thought, oh, it's gonna go on, you know, people were still saying, oh, maybe one month and we'll be back to normal. Uh, but then, as it became clear that the, the, the money was running down yeah. and there was still no sign of any tourists coming, um, then uh, the owner had to start taking out bank loans. But of course, the problem is when you borrow money from the bank, so your monthly outgoings are going up again, you know, you've, you've, not only have you got to care for the elephants and the staff, you've got to give money back to the bank. Like patient in a coma, this elephant can remain unconscious and dependent on a ventilator, which is the bank loan. Despite having reopened on the same day, the Thailand welcomed vaccinated foreign tourists again. They are still fighting the immense struggle to stay afloat. Hopefully, you know, that, that would be a, a big boost, you know, for, for the camp here. What, what they did, because there was no foreign tourists, so they thought, well, we have to rely on um, local, you know, local tourism. But of course, Thai people aren't going to pay tourist prices. So the, the owner couldn't actually, she decided that entrance fee, you know, there's no entrance fee for, for, for people. They can come in free. But we try and encourage them to, they buy a basket of fruit for 100 baht to feed an elephant, you know, um, or just make a donation. Um, but Again, you know, it, 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 it's a little bit, but it's just, we're, we're really fighting to, to try and stay afloat. It, it really is a, 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 an immense struggle with, with, you know, it's no exaggeration. Yeah.